Davian was first round draft choice out of Baylor for the Kings and their starting point guard. And really excited to be partnering with you on and Dollpad's initiatives on Tech for Black Founders and Dollpad for Good. And so welcome and great to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Right on. Well, Davian, tell me how um how'd you get to this level? Yeah, I mean I think it just all started with uh just working hard. Um being always kind of being the, the hardest work out there. Um I mean even if you go to Baylor, they would tell you I probably like one of the hardest workers at Baylor. And that's kind of just been my niche is just working hard. And my dad used to always tell me hard work is going to pay off. And eventually it paid off, even though it took some time. It took me four years, but I got here. I see you guys hustling every single play, every single second of the game. Even if the game might be meaningless or the game might be over, there's no let up. That's, that's radically impressive as a fan. What is it that drives you to, to work that hard? I mean, I think for me, I've always kind of been a, a guy that plays hard no matter what. I yeah. mean... Uh, everyone would tell you that, yeah, he's going to play hard no matter if you're down 30 or up 30. I mean, you kind of just want to have that because you don't want to be a guy that's only play hard when you're winning. Yeah. Um, no matter what. I just feel like you got to keep that consistent, the energy consistent, body language throughout the ups and downs. Can you tell me a little bit about the Hinesville Rec Center and your involvement there? Yeah, uh, Schumann Rec Center. Um, everyone in Hinesville kind of knows who where that place is. Uh, my grandma was the the manager there. Oh, uh, nice. Everyone know who Brenda Mitchell is. I and mean, she kind of put me in that space when I was younger. Um, I think you you can't be like, I think 12 years old, you can't be there by yourself. Mm -hmm. And my grandma used to always let me be there, watch yeah. the older guys, um, kind of just watch the older pros and those guys play. And I kind of learned basketball from there. And then when I got around like 13, I got to play on the big court. Yeah. And I think that's where I play so hard because I always wanted to play with the older guys. I wanted to be that guy to kind of stand out a little bit yeah. just to me, no matter what my age was. But, I mean, that's where I think I got it from. And Schumer Rec Center was just a place where, I mean, everyone goes um, to play cards, play pool, just to, just to connect. It was a great thing for the community. And at what point there did you start realizing that you were pretty good? Yeah, I was kind of bigger than a lot of like regular 12, 11, 12 year olds. So I was kind of, I kind of stand out a little bit. Um, I was much bigger, much faster. Um, I think I hit puberty really fast. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I think I knew, there's a lot of people in my ear, like around 13 or 14, that you can really do something with basketball. And I took it, took it from there and I kept working hard every day. Thinking about outside of basketball, and obviously it's probably 18 hours a day on your mind, working out probably, I don't know, six to 10 hours a day or something. But do you have any interests outside of basketball or what do you do when you get some downtime? I mean, yeah, I'm a big family guy. Talk yeah. to my family a lot. Um, I try to be, be with them as much as I can. I mean, we stay hours away, um, but I try to talk to them a lot. I mean, also I'm a gamer. I like gaming, yeah. um, so that's kind of what I do. What games do you like? Um, Call of Duty, 2K. When you're playing 2K, are you, the, are you yourself? Nah, nah, no. <laughs> nah, nah, not myself. I'm usually probably like, uh, probably one of the dominant people on 2K usually, is usually probably like Giannis or LeBron. Yeah. Those dominant people that right dunk now. the ball every time, yeah. What's been the best thing for you about living in Northern California and being in the Kings community? Meeting new people. Um, meeting new people every day. Um, there's a lot of things you can get into being in California, a lot of businesses that you can learn about being here. Um, also, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people that come to L.A. to visit, a lot of famous people that you can talk to. So I think just meeting new people is a, the best thing being here. And is it difficult to stay grounded when you do meet a lot of stars and a lot of celebrities and they probably you know, maybe want tickets every time you go to, the, go to L.A. or want to hang out or go get dinner? How do you stay grounded during the season for that? I mean, yeah, it's super difficult, but I think they know how busy you are, uh, yeah. especially being an NBA player. They kind of know that you got practices, and then you got family that want to come to the game, so you're not going to have that many tickets. So, I mean, it's definitely difficult, but it's easy for me because I kind of just try to stay out of the way. Yeah. I just be, I just be in my room. We're playing the game. So this is your second year. You're one of the one of the leaders on the team, mm -hmm. one of the most you know famous names on the team, and a former first round pick. Um, how do you create a great sense of teamwork with the team and, and really get the culture right? Chemistry plays a big part of that. Um, I think uh, at the beginning of the year, you know, we had some downs um, as far as like losing and the trades happen. Mm -hmm. And then we start getting new people and you start new faces and the people expect us to, to win just because we got new faces, but the chemistry wasn't there. Yeah. And chemistry plays a huge part of winning and you got to know what the other man is thinking. Um, Cause you just like a team like the Warriors, um, they, those guys been around each other for a long time. So the chemistry is a lot better than every other place cause they've been playing with each other for a long time. So I think chemistry is a big part. Um, everyone has to buy in. Um, I think that's, that makes a really good team. So you had two head coaches last year. We have a new one who started before this season. 
How's it been getting the communication and the collaboration with the team, knowing what they're supposed to do and really getting enough reps to be able to go out on the court and just go execute? This year, everyone kind of knows their role. Yeah. Um, and that's a good thing. When when everyone knows their role, then it makes the, the, the chemistry a lot easier. Um, someone's not stepping out their way or do something that they're not supposed to. So it makes it, um, Coach Brown made it, played a big part of playing your role. And yeah. I think everyone this year is playing a role that a uh, really good a really good spot. We're super excited to see you on the court. Super, you know, honored to have you working with Dalpad on these initiatives and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.